good morning good morning good morning my beautiful people so today <clears throat> i am going house hunting and we all know how much of a headache house hunting in kampala is you guys you can literally like should it be that hard to find a house like does it really have to be that hard so i went house hunting again nearly a year after i came house hunting for this house so I'm going house hunting again and this time I'm going to be sharing my journey with you so come along I have my essentials packed sunscreen because God knows this Kampala sunshine cannot spare you and I've gotten enough buns I also have my water I hate taking water I find it so hard to take water so I prefer if I flavor it either cucumber or lemon or anything literally so my water my sunglasses from iCandy iCandy UG on Instagram Check them out. They have really, really, really amazing sunglasses. Last but not least, my mask because safety is, yeah, safety first. Safety is essential. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, so I'm going to be meeting the broker now and then we go check out the houses. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come along with me. <laughs> Finding the right house in Kampala can be quite hectic and in this case my search criteria was a two bedroomed house preferably a two bath because my siblings are constantly staying with me and this was the first house that the broker took me to it had two bedrooms which were not so small not so big they were perfectly sized rooms and I really really couldn't complain however I would have honestly opted for a better bathroom as this one was not to my liking it was okay but i could have preferred it better the kitchen size was okay i just didn't like the fixtures as much and the sitting room size was perfectly okay because most houses in kampala are actually quite small so finding a good size sitting room with a self with a personal balcony is something that i really wanted but the house was too close by the road and i couldn't stand the noise so i had to go check out another property but I really liked that they had enough parking space for my future car, I mean, and some green around, but it was honestly too, too close to the road. And it was the last apartment literally by the road and I couldn't stand the noise. The second house that I saw was also a two bedroomed house. The bedroom size was good. It was okay. And I like that it has two windows in the bedroom, which meant proper lighting because Proper lighting was another thing I really, really wanted in the house, especially being a YouTuber and a content creator. The bathroom was quite big. It was really, really, really big. I must say, I must applaud them for that. But then they were still doing some renovations and still had a few things to fix. The kitchen size was okay. There was, was a small kitchen balcony behind. I liked that it had kitchen cabinets already installed and... I didn't like the metallic door for a front door, but I wouldn't complain about that as much. I also liked the sitting room size. I didn't fancy the wooden room around. The views were quite okay. It looked more residential and it was more quiet compared to the previous house, the first house that was by the roadside. The parking space was quite there. I think it would fit about the exact number of cars for the exact number of units, six units, six cars. Having seen the previous two options, I wasn't as satisfied as I wanted to be with what I was looking for. So we proceeded to look at house number three, which was also on the first floor. I really do not like ground floor units. Now this one was quite interesting. It had a view. And if you know me, you know I love, love views. I love sunsets. I love sunrises. It had quite a big living room and... I must say this one was quite interesting because the kitchen was like a whole other separate house unit for itself and it had a small store which was a plus for me it had a behind balcony a small balcony for the kitchen which was nice but then the kitchen cabinets had not been installed went ahead to look at the bathrooms and the bedroom it was a two bedroom also the bathroom in this one was on the smaller end for me i really really didn't like the bathroom i don't like very tiny bathrooms and it was not yet completed the bedrooms were on the smaller end slightly smaller than the two previous ones and i didn't like that there were no wardrobes installed yet but that's not something to worry about as they can always install the wardrobes 
and the parking space seemed sufficient for the number of units that were there and this is why i say it was interesting there were two doors to the house one to the kitchen one to the living room this point i used a different broker we had exhausted all the options the first one had to offer me and i really liked the kitchen in here i liked the kitchen cabinets this was literally my dream kitchen the countertops everything the bath the washrooms and the rooms were had a good size i should say i can assure you that at this point i was quite exhausted but that my loves is what it takes to get a really good house in Kampala, one that will match everything that you're looking for. So this was a two-bedroom house too. The wardrobes were literally at the entrance of the one of the bedrooms and I wasn't sure how to feel about that. It had a small balcony at the back. It had a bathtub in the bathroom, which I liked. I also liked the kitchen countertops, the living space, but then it was literally by the roadside and the noise. It was now house number six yes i know house number six this was still a two-bedroomed house the kitchen was on the good end it had good kitchen cabinets it had storage space the bathroom was all right it had a heat i liked that but then i didn't like the lighting overall in this house it wasn't to my liking i liked the wardrobes though but the rest of the house wasn't up to my general liking i don't know for some reason and i also didn't like that it didn't have a balcony i am <laughs> i am a person for views so i really 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 do love my balconies and preferably a personal balcony so the fact that this didn't have the balconies uh -uh, and also the lighting wasn't so okay but then it had ample parking space for it this house was on our way to another property we were going to see it was cute but then it was a one bedroom and yet i was looking for more space for my family and i i didn't like that the wardrobes were quite small they were on the smaller end but i did love the views i loved the ambience it was literally close by it was close to the road without being by the roadside so the noise wasn't as much and the parking space was really good it had a cute outlook outside So yes, my loves, this was the last house that I went to. It was a one bedroom, but I however liked the kitchen. I liked that it had it on its own separate balcony, but the rooms were on the smaller end. The sitting room was a bit small for me, and so were the bedrooms, but I liked how it looked like outside. It's a place I would definitely leave. It had ample parking space. So let me know which house you would have preferred to pick, which house you'd pick out of all the several houses that I saw. Give this video a thumbs up. I'll leave the broker's numbers in the description link. And that, my friend, was a day of house hunting in Kampala. Till next time.